Good morning. Today is Monday, June 6th. I'm Jane King for the street from the Nasdaq market side in Times Square. Well, we head into the new week looking at the fallout from Friday's ugly jobs report. The U.S. economy only created 38,000 jobs last month, the worst hiring in six years. So this means every word that Fed Chair Janet Yellen says during a speech this afternoon will be weighed very carefully. She speaks at 1230 Eastern Time in Philadelphia, and she will take questions from the audience. But just by about every account a Fed rate hike at the meeting next week is off the table. Well, Snapchat has quietly bought a company called Scene. Scene is a computer vision startup. It lets mobile users make 3D selfies. TechCrunch reports the technology allows 3D selfies with the normal smartphone and could someday be used in virtual reality. And so much for the pinstripes. J.P. Morgan Chase goes business casual. The Wall Street Journal got its hands on an internal memo explaining the shift, which apparently reflects how the way they work is changing. More of the bank's clients are dressing informally, it said, but there are still limits. Yoga pants do not make the cut. Flip-flops are also off limits as are hoodies and halter tops. Okay, happening today, the U.S. House and Senate return from Memorial Day week-long recess. Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren takes part in a forum on quantitative easing in Europe. And Valiant posts a conference call on its delayed first quarter results. That is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.